The MTR, a fine network in Hong Kong, makes it the backbone of Hong Kong's transit, connecting communities with each other, but we're not talking about the network today. My name is Chris, and today we are doing the MTR Trains tier list, kinda. When they say kinda, maybe there's something missing? Hmm. So let's have a look at what the roster is today here. I see. I spot a missing train! Hmm, I wonder what it could be. Well, anyway, uh, it is slightly outdated, but I, I digress. I, well, we'll just keep on with it, I guess. So, how are you going to rank this? Well, by the power of magic. Alright, so we'll rank the trains by how good they look, the insides, the sound, and the services. And our ranking system, we have S tier for superior, A for amazing, B for better maybe, C for could be worse, but not good, and D for D's, I mean, destroy. Well, anyway, let's start off with a classic of the MTR network. This, the M train. This train is the backbone of the urban parts of Hong Kong. But like if you take the Iron Line, the Chunkwan Line, the Chunkwan O Line, and the Kuntong Line, you would most likely take this train. And it could be better, but honestly, considering its age and it has been refurbished, these trains are iconic. They're amazing. Especially with all the overcrowding. Hmm. Alright, up next, let's keep with the urban trains. We have the K train. These trains are South Korean and are produced by Hyundai Rotem. These trains, I think they're... They don't look... I mean, they look very similar, but... Not too much to say, but I think uh, for the K for these ones at least, I think they could be slightly better. Uh, they're now on the Chunkwano line, which uh, I think it fits quite well, and they sound fantastic. They sound great, but I think there could be some nice improvements for it. Sticking with the MTR, let's do the C train. The C train. Uh, these trains, they are Chinese, and they are manufactured by CRC. Uh... Not gonna lie, they were quite cool for the first few years, but they've slowly started to fall off a bit. Uh, they don't sound as great as I thought. Uh, in fact, they sound very weird, but <laughs> yeah, they're not terrible, but I think they could be better, but they could be worse, but yeah, I don't think they are as good as they were back then. I think we should move on from the main urban lines for now, though we are missing one, which I'll get back to later. Let's do the subs, the suburban trains. Starting off with the Tung Chung line. I'm sorry, I am so biased. These trains are so goddamn good. I love them so much. I I commute on them every single time from the sunny bay to like Ting Yi or Lai King. And uh, actually, the Tung the yeah, the Tung Chung line. So we have these two trains. I used to like the K trains more, but then recently the A trains like really grew on me, and I still miss them so much to this day. They're superior. Holy shit, I love them. And now to the K train. This one is amazing. I'm really surprised at how fast they can go. They're definitely a lot better than the Chung Kwan line counterparts. Uh, but yeah, looks are boring. I do like the color scheme. And yeah, that's all I can pretty much say about those ones. I actually I should be going here. But these ones are also superior. The blue color scheme is beautiful. In fact, these are better than the Tongchung counterparts. And they are the fastest in the network. So it's fantastic. What could possibly go wrong with the Opera Express stock? Now let's do the two automated trains. The Disneyland Resort line, it's very unique. It's just refurbished M train, but they made it so to keep it with the Disneyland theme. You have the Mickey Mouse windows, the the sofa-like seats. 
it's honestly great. Like, I don't think you can find a Disneyland train anywhere like this anywhere in the world. So, props to MTR for actually like doing that. <laughs> it's great. It's great. All right, but if I'm perfectly honest, these trains are pretty damn nice. I love them in general, like the S train. Uh, the South Island Line's a nice little shuttle, and it's nice to just watch, be the front of the train, and just watch the tunnels and watch like the scenery go by. It's great. <laughs> now let's move on to the KCR, the KCR trains. Uh, there's a lot of them actually, but we cope and we continue. So let's start off with the first one, the. MLR, the MLR trains. I used to not be a fan of them. Like, I would actually dislike them. However, now that they're gone, I ironically miss them. Uh, their first class for us was great. Uh, they sound pretty nice. They actually sound like the UK trains, considering it is Metro Camel that did manufacture them. They're iconic as they were. They're quite good, and their version was quite nice, I, I guess. And actually, it was nice to see it reincarnated as a shelter in Typo, so... <laughs> nice to keep a bit of history there. Speaking of history, do you want to see the unrefurbished ones? They look slightly uglier, but considering that it was British, I kind of like them. And because of its yellow head as well, and every single train at the time in the UK had a yellow head. So I'll put it in a bit better maybe, because it was definitely not as good as what it was uh, prior to refurbishment. Next we'll go to the SP1900, big by, manufactured by Kinky Shario and the Kawasaki. Mm, these are my favorite trains, if I'm perfectly honest. The two mile line may not be the greatest line, but Jesus me, they're one of my favorites. You know what? I'm sorry. There we go. Yeah. The SP-100, they sound fantastic. I love the sound that those trains make. And they're just nice. Like, the displays, the TV screens. The vibe of the inside is actually just fantastic. I, I really like them. Hmm. Just not the two my line. <laughs> well, actually, no, I do like the two my line. It's just... Who on their right would take it end to end? <laughs> well, speaking of the Tumai Line, we have the C trains again, but for the Tumai Line, and I uh, don't actually. No, they deserve to be destroyed! <laughs> Do I want to retract my statement? I think they're better than the, the, the Quinton Line C trains. They could be better, but they're definitely a downgrade. They don't sound good, they look really weird, and that's about it. It's just a ripoff of um, the original. Though I guess the new, paint, the new paint shop does look pretty good, like the sides. But the front, I cannot say the same for the front, it doesn't look right. No, no, no. And now we have the R train. Oh, Jesus. And no, it's not as bad as you think. The MLRs are great, but they had to make this train shorter from 12 cars and 9 cars. And the sound, it's the same as the C train, and it's not even from China. It's South Korean, just like the K trains, and it sounds the same as the C train. Hi, yi, yi. I can't put this on the destroy because they're pretty decent, but they're not great. Alrighty, and now we're left with the. With some trains which I've... Hmm. They were either historic or I just haven't taken it. I mean, obviously I haven't taken this one, but, you know. Alright, this. Ugly. Disgusting. Look at its stupid face. It may be the OG, but it looks disgusting. The interior. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'm so happy that they got refurbished in the 1990s. Alright, but let's talk about this. The high speed rail. A little controversial for certain reasons, which I won't say anything. But aside from that, these trains look very slick. They look very cool. And 
I really want to try and take it sometime. Of course, when the situation in China is better, of course. So I'll put them under amazing. Right, where do I start with this? Generally, steam trains are based. So I'll put them all in amazing. What is that? That looks very alien. I don't like that. I it needs to be destroyed in the fire and sent to Discovery Bay. Disgusting. All right. Oof. These are kind of cool. The diesel trains. Amazing. If okay, no, that's a steam train too. All right, there we go. That is the MCR trains tier list. The one train that wasn't there is the Q train. Uh. I don't know where to put the Q train. I have no opinion on it. Uh, aside from the fact that it looks exactly like the C train. And, but I would put it maybe in amazing. Or like bottom amazing or better maybe. Because it's pretty average. But the interior is amazing. And the sounds are slightly better than the Z train. At least from videos I've watched. But regardless, that is the tier list of the MTR trains. I hope you enjoy, like, subscribe. I'll do more content that are that is better than this. Uh, yeah, <laughs> bye.